This was basically a clinical audit at our institute to assess the rate of leakage from the erythrovesical anastomosis post robotic prostatectomy. Then we have made this study to investigate the impact of this leakage on the short term and long term incontinence. So the aim of the study was to find out if the leakage from the erythrovesical anastomosis post robotic prostatectomy led to worsening of the short term or long term incontinence. We retrospectively looked at cystograms for patients who had robotic prostatectomy from July 2017 to July 2019. We defined incontinence as zero pads per day. Uh, we also included the ICIQ short form and the EPIC-26 and we compared these findings with other parameters like the age of the patient, the body mass index, uh, previous uh, pelvic surgery, radiotherapy, uh, the surgical technique, either nerve sparing or non-nerve sparing, the Gleason score and the T-stage of the prostate cancer. Cystograms were done uh, 10 to 14 days post-operative and among 184 patients, uh, we found 27 patients that had um, either minor or major leaks and we found no statistical significance between the incidence of leakage from the erythrovesical anastomosis and the incontinence, short term or long term. This pie graph shows the incidence of leakage, which was 14.8% or approximately 15%. In this table, using the chi-square test, we didn't find statistical significance between leakage and the number of pads six weeks and at 12 months. From the limitations of this study that relied on the number of pads rather than weight of pads, the weight of pads is actually more accurate. However, it was very difficult to provide all patients with scales or to keep them hospitalized. The other thing is that we, we haven't uh, offered all patients urodynamics because at our institute, we only offer patients a urodynamic study when they have exhausted um, the pharmacotherapy and the pelvic floor exercises, and they are really keen to have some sort of surgery to solve their problem. At this time, only we offer them urodynamics. Points of strength of this study is the long follow-up, which is one year, and I think one year is the proper time to judge continence. Uh, the second point is the large size of the sample, which was 184 patients, and I think this was uh, adequate uh, sample size for this sort of studies. Conclusion of the study is that we found no impact for the leakage from the erythrovesical anastomosis on the short term or long term continents. Also, we have found no impact for other parameters on incontinence weight. These parameters were the age of the patient, the body mass index, the radiotherapy, the previous pelvic surgeries, the uh, Gleason score and the T stage of the prostate cancer and also the surgical technique nerve sparing or non-nerve sparing. Thank you.